Let's talk about Aaliyah at these Diddy parties. You want to dance? I want to dance. Come on. All right. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, thank you for tuning back in, I'm back with another video, another Aaliyah video, I know I haven't did one in a while, I done did so many different Aaliyah videos, I did over 150, I got a whole playlist, I'm gonna leave up here, and it was really nothing to talk about with Aaliyah because I done did so many videos, or I sounded like a broken record, repeating the same things over and over again about her legacy, this, that, the way people still trash talk her to this day, which is what this is gonna be about, but let me jump straight into this. The main reason, as y'all see the title, I'm doing this video is because recently, a old ass picture from the year 2000 went viral, like super viral. Now these pictures of Aaliyah at this party got hundreds of thousands of likes, over 22 million views. Because of everything going on with Diddy right now, I'm pretty sure y'all know everything going on with him, where he is right now. Chill! People have this thing now where they want to find incriminating pictures of other celebrities. Who did Diddy used to party with? Who did he used to hang out with? Who was at one of his infamous parties? And every time certain pictures come up where the pose or the position or just the environment looks sketchy to people, it goes viral. This time, it just happens to be with Aaliyah. And like I said, these pictures been around for years. And they kind of go viral, but for a different reason. I did a video about that too. You think you know? You have no idea. The thing with this picture is that it featured Aaliyah in the middle, right? You had P. Diddy, Jennifer Lopez on the side. You had Andre Harrell and one of Aaliyah's like model friends all on the same huge bed taking a picture. And Aaliyah was like laid back. And a lot of people took that and just blew it up. Now you have all these narratives and all these opinions and all these <gasps> accusations of, oh, P. Diddy got to Aaliyah too. Oh my God, look at Aaliyah. She was a pass around. She was a that. She was a this. She was a that. She was unprotected. And the part that's true is, in some type of way, you have to admit that Aaliyah was unprotected, especially with the first album and everything that happened with the parents allowing that. I did a video about that too. I told you, I did so many videos about this. But the thing that got out of control that really made me want to do this video is like the victim blaming, victim shaming, and just people jumping to conclusions because Aaliyah took a picture at an industry event. The P. Diddy parties from the year 2000, 24 years ago, you think about that, it's like, damn, 24 years ago. It's nothing like the recent ones he had or like the ones he had like, you know, in the 2020s, in the 2010s. The year 2000, that's when they were just starting out. And they were in Miami, his 4th of July parties. And apparently, that was at a popular nightclub in Miami called Club Bed, Club B-E-D, where one of the main attractions at this club in Miami was having these huge beds. When I looked it up, this club closed in 2011. But that was a huge attraction with the club, having these huge beds where people could just lay out, hang out, and socialize. Nothing more, nothing less. Y'all tell me, but when you look at those pictures, don't you just see friends at an industry event? Now, like I said, I know some people gonna say, none of us were there, I wasn't there, y'all weren't there. Some of y'all might be a little older than me, might be a little younger than me. At the time of this picture, at the time of these pictures, I was like all of what, five, six years old? None of us were really there. We can't say what happened. A lot of people, like to say, you know, there's this image of Aaliyah that she was like innocent or like angelic because she was soft spoken, especially even like her music. Her music was never like harsh. Her music had like a soft edginess to it. She was real humble. She was real down to earth. When you saw her interviews. I say there are times when I, I sit back and I look at, you know, my career in a whole and the things that I've achieved, the things I've been through and I say, wow, you know, I am truly blessed to wake up every morning and do something that I love. There's nothing better than that, you know. So a lot of people take that and they take it for what it is, but then you have those other people that they see pictures like this, it's like their chance to say, oh look, she wasn't as innocent as y'all thought. Shut up! They get off with P. 
pinning Aaliyah as some type of pass around that went from guy to guy to guy. Where it's like, you look at these pictures, these were public events, industry events that had photographers, all kinds of celebrities that some of them weren't even pictured. But was, for some reason, for some reason with Aaliyah and her legacy, there's this thing where people want to like find another side. You know how somebody's innocent or somebody seems innocent? So a lot of people like to poke them and see like how far can they take it. I would like to see it. Because Aaliyah passed and she had this reputation of being a certain way in a positive light, right? Scratch all the R. Kelly stuff from her first album. A lot of people like to take that and be like, ha, ah, we got her. And mind you, Aaliyah and P. Diddy, not saying that they were the best of friends, but they were cordial acquaintances. They did associate in some light. He even revealed that back in the early 90s, him, Aaliyah, and Biggie recorded a song in Trinidad. You can even look at this clip of Aaliyah and Diddy weeks before she passed. Okay. We're just trying to do our thing. We're just doing our thing. But right now we're going to do a thing together tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. stage. Up on the stage. Like in a man? No, what? Well, I like a man who can really dance. Oh, well, you're in luck tonight, baby. Oh, really? You gonna dance for me? You wanna dance? Yeah, let's dance. You wanna dance? I wanna dance. Come on. All right? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> let's get to what we're here for. Let's present the nominees for best dance sequence. Like I told y'all, she knew him since the early 90s when she first came out. This was in 2001, seven years later. The industry, the music industry especially, is only but so big. So it's like, it's not foreign. It's not a foreign idea to think that Aliyah would be at one of his parties back in the day. And I can remember this verbatim. I don't have to look up clips on YouTube. I remember this verbatim when Aliyah first passed and they had these specials on BET and MTV. P. Diddy was one of the first celebrities to speak out and be like, wow, I can't believe this. You know, he took it really hard. He said that Aaliyah, I mean, you could tell, like, they weren't like the best, but you know what I'm saying? But when they did hang out, it was always a good time. She was a positive person. She had good energy. And they even did that one song together. So people taking this out of context, like, oh, P. Diddy must have did this with her. Oh, even to the point where people said, he had something to do with the accident. Oh my God. I always say this, with Aaliyah, it seems to be a free for all. I even seen this comment that got a lot of likes where somebody was like, oh, just because she died, I'm not gonna take it easy on her. She knew what it was. Shut up. But when you really look at it, all these pictures were, were just Aaliyah having fun at these industry events, at these industry parties. Let's also talk about the fact that at the time the picture was taken, P Diddy was with JLo. And she's obviously hugged up on him. Leah was in her 20s, living life, having fun. Some people have a down to earth, positive, easygoing spirit, but they like to have fun. We're going to a party tonight. Oh, let me do, oh, let me do, I'll rock. Uh, uh, uh. I'll rock. It just makes the work that much easier when you have friends that work hard like you do and love their work and can have a good time at the same time. It's so fascinating to add on to this. Oh, look, 24 years ago, look what he did with Aaliyah. Take a picture at one of his 4th of July parties, along with the other hundreds of celebrities and photographers and everybody that was there. Nothing more, nothing less. This is where we at right now? All the things that could be positive with Aaliyah's legacy, all the things that happened with her legacy, her uncle and her death, that still needs to be put under investigation. Her music came out three years ago. Like I can go to stores like H&M, Forever 21, and hear her songs playing over the loudspeakers and see people in the store shopping and singing to them while wearing her shirts. When I'm out in public all the time. I see a whole bunch of people from different races, different ethnicities, different ages wearing her shirts, all different kind of shirts. And I'm like, wow. Like just to see how big Aaliyah's legacy is getting, how she still reaches different demographics, different ages. It's like amazing. 
but people would rather focus on this. Bottom line is, Aliyah has nothing to do with all the evil shit Diddy has done over the last 30 years of his life and career. So for people to try to associate her with him and all this stuff going on because of a 24 year old picture at one of his parties that was really public with a photographer like this that you can look up on Google, Getty Images, it's like... I, I don't understand. I swear to God, I don't understand. You know, Aaliyah's label, her uncle, still shady. They may have stuff coming out for her, they may not. Rashad, her brother, may have stuff coming out for her, he may not. We'll see. But let's focus on the positive. Leave Aaliyah out of all this Diddy shit. How popular she still is, how she's still setting trends, how she's still a blueprint for all these artists and her fans today. Oh, thank you. No, but no. Diddy is getting what he deserves. Leave Aaliyah out of it. That was just my two cents on this whole situation. The fact that Aaliyah was trending heavily, number one, because of this, because of an old picture she took, is like, damn. This is how thirsty and vicious people are to like talk about something and gossip. Wow. Let me know your thoughts down below on this whole situation and everything going on with Diddy. And the fact that people tried to drag Aaliyah into this from some old ass picture she took at one of his 4th of July parties. And let me know what y'all think down below. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and listening. I'll see y'all in the next video.